on just seemed like people hanging out in jail. It really reminded me of summer camp that mm -hmm. I never went to. <laughs> I think I'd want to give it my. You freedom. ever go to a summer camp? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. What's that like? I went to computer camp, and uh, I learned to like program during the day. But it was a larger facility where other people did normal summer camp, where they learned like knots and shit. I also did Boy Scout camps, but the one I'm thinking of in computer camp, we were kind of mocked by the cooler camps. Like it, if people found out you were there for computer camp, mm. then they would look down upon. I certainly didn't get any girls at computer camp, but like I they had different wristbands that let you do different things. Like, cause there was a swimming proficiency test at the oh. start of it. And, uh, like no one else in computer camp was allowed to like roam the whole fucking lake except me. Um, and they were all they, like, it was just, no, no one from computer camp could like get deeper than their knees. <laughs> <laughs> and then and they're like, you're from computer camp. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, you've always been like, you were the only guy in it that owned a mouth guard, you know? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> what's the age of that roughly woody say that again how old were you roughly when you did that uh, the campaign called me 10 10 okay like no that. the closest thing i ever did to a summer camp was so many events in my life happened because like a ran we were around some people in a random conversation happened and i just went with it so i was like hey would you like to do that Kyle? i was like sign me up just just I'm at that fucking Christian camp and 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 at the super wow event. Oh my god, how did I end up there? I, I thought about the, the the other day, the steps that happened. I think I was my dad was visiting his friend and his son was going. And and someone probably said, like in the movies, and you get you, the kid just rolls their eyes, but Kyle, you should go to that that camp at Jekyll Island. Wouldn't you like to go? And I was probably like, sure. Just just not thinking. And there I was, how long was it? super wow. Oh, just a week, but okay. the bus ride there from Northeast Georgia to Jekyll Island, I remember that being awful. Like that, it was so slow. It wasn't a bus; it was a van. Just so we're clear, mm -hmm. um, with those bench seats in the back, and I just got there and there was nothing to do. I had been promised water parks and fucking water gun <laughs> fights, and that was so hyped up in my head. They were like, "Yeah, we have a big water gun fight." That's the only reason I went. The only I remember now. I was like, how was the fight? They got mad at me because I put warm water in my gun. And, and he was wearing an expensive Lacoste shirt. And, his, oh. and hot water got on his fancy shirt. And they all yelled at me. An adult. I sprayed an adult. with the, I put warm water in my water gun. And they got what? mad. And the, part, and the water gun fight was ruined. <laughs> That's <laughs> terrible. Weird. But I don't understand why warm water is so... But, I like, didn't understand not... either. Uh, of course, I was only 12. <laughs> I did a couple <laughs> Christian camps, but they were only a weekend, like a Friday to Sunday kind of thing. And it was just straight up Christian indoctrination. And they they tricked us because I was a stupid child, like into behaving <laughs> like, hey, hey, I know you want to stay up at night and sneak over to the girls cabin. Not tonight. That's really a tomorrow night activity. And I'm like, mm. all right, fine. I get it. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Trust me, we'll be out cold. They were not. They were not um and i didn't ever kiss any girls we, yeah we didn't do any of that we went to church every day uh we went to and by the way church was man i'm bad at judging crowd sizes mm -hmm. but a mega you've seen mega churches one of those slap on full. tv it felt like there were five thousand of us in there singing minimal oh wow and uh but we did have fun we went to the water park and had an awkward time there and then um we had a uh, we had you know the water gun fight that i ruined uh, i spent so <laughs> i spent like 80 percent of my week's money on a water gun i got like the fanciest water gun money I could buy and, <laughs> and it was and that that really ruined the trip for me um, that song lean on me i was doing a comeback like i think somebody remade it and it got popular and uh the priest loved it so he did his own lean on me lyrics but he like ad-libbed it and made it about jesus <laughs> it's like, hmm. you fucking suck <laughs> like, Dude, are you talking about remaking good songs into Jesus about songs? Summer camps, and we—I got into my like St. Peter's Youth weekend getaways thing. Yeah, they went to summer camps. I went to a couple summer camps, but not regularly. I went to one sports camp when I was eighteen or so, hmm. seventeen, 
and it was over the summer and it was like just a couple weeks, I think. And it was like, you could pick a sport and do it there. And this entire camp has since been shut down for like, a, I think a lot of violations and problems. That <laughs> could be, it was the, <laughs> it was the, the Fogel camp of central Missouri. <laughs> and I remember like taking a big bite of a sandwich one day. It was supposed to be a chicken sandwich and it was cold raw on the oh. inside and there was wow. no more food to go get. And so I just like, <laughs> didn't eat there. And like, you could pick, I didn't know the camp at all. <laughs> like before we had to pick like a sport to do. And obviously I picked hockey and no shit. Like, we would have to go from the camp every day, like 50 minutes away, close to, to where I lived, to go to a mm. hockey rink to play and then to go back to this shit tier camp. And it was it was awful. I hated camp. Did you play goalie at that camp? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so and no so then, and then it, it had that. Uh, <laughs> and also, like, it's really annoying as a goalie sometimes because they'll be like, all right. Just uh, skate, sticks, gloves, and helmet for all of the people but Taylor because you still have to get dressed entirely. And it's like, well, okay, so I'm going to be the sweatiest, the stinkiest, the only one actually working. <laughs> and that's the actual truth of fucking hockey camps where nobody's really like worrying about getting better is the goalie's old, the only one working. Everyone else there was just practicing dangles and taking way too long to shoot. And then the other guy would be coming up right, right behind him, you know, Woody knows you don't wait until you don't do breakaways on a drill when you're supposed to be shooting from the top of the uh, of the fucking circle. It sucks because I don't play organized hockey. When do I practice my breakaways? I want to pra this. The look, I don't need practice taking slap shots from the blue line. I could do that. Yeah. And I'm not getting any better. What I'd like to do is dangle the goalie, and the goalies are always like, nah, "I choose not to participate. You can score, but it doesn't count because I didn't try." It doesn't count. I would do that sometimes, <laughs> like if someone just was pissing me off. But to like help you, Kyle, in a baseball comparison, like imagine you were practicing being catcher. And mm -hmm. I was pitching to you and then Woody would pitch and then Filthy would pitch. And imagine we're all good pitchers and you're going, all right, every five seconds, throw me a pitch. And I go, mm, I'm going to wait till the 4.98 second to throw mine. And then Woody's going to throw on the start of his because Woody's <laughs> going to Woody's going to go by the rules and throw to give himself enough time or you enough time to get ready for the third guy for Filthy. But I ruin it by taking all my time up. So now you've got two balls right next to each other coming towards you and you can't actually practice. It's no good. No, it's not. Don't you just it's ignore one of the shooters? It, like uh, ignore a skater. It, it ruins it for him. Trust me, it's awful. <laughs> You're yeah, just I like I, I would I would usually just ignore the worst player. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm trying to get practice too. I want the I want to stop the better shots ideally. Man, I'm so glad.